in this video we are going to learn how to trigger timer with push button that means when you press push button then timer trigger and timer timing will start so if you want to trigger timer with push button so you can done also if you want to trigger timer with limit switch when limit switch will operate so timer trigger and timer timing will start so you can trigger your timer with limit switch also if you want to trigger your timer with sensor that means when sensor operate then your timer will trigger and timer timing will start so let's start video and first understand what is the difference between normal timer and trigger timer you can see here we have one on delay normal timer in normal timer we need to provide supply phase and neutral in timer coil okay when you provide coil supply then timer will operate directly okay so in normal timer we just need to connect a coil supply in a1 and a2 and in trigger timer first see trigger timer connection we just need to connect a phase and neutral in a1 and a2 terminal you can see here we need to connect a supply in a1 and a2 but starting your timer you just need to trigger your timer for triggering supply you need to connect a coil supply a1 to trigger point okay so when you connect your coil supply to trigger point then your timer timing will start okay first see this is trigger timer which is made by tens electronic okay first see timer terminals okay so a1 and a2 is a coil point and tr is trigger point okay so for trigger timer we need to connect a coil supply to trigger point okay in this timer we have on delay timer setting and off delay timer setting that means you can use in both application of on delay and off delay timer setting okay if you want to use timer in on delay setting so you can select a knob in on delay timing range okay and if you want to run your timer as off delay timer so first rotate your knob to off delay timing range okay so you can use your timer in on delay and off delay both application and for setting timing range so you can select a t knob okay now first see timer connection so if you want to control your timer with 220 volt power supply so first need to connect a phase and neutral in a1 and a2 terminal okay so first need to connect a phase and neutral in a1 and a2 terminal for 220 volt power supply you can see here and if you want to trigger your timer with sensor so you can use 24 volt dc supply for 24 volt dc supply you need to use a2 and a3 terminal for trigger your timer with proximity sensor okay so you can use this timer for 220 volt power supply as well as 24 volt dc or ac power supply okay so for dc power supply you need to use a3 and a2 terminal and for 220 volt power supply you just need to connect a phase and neutral in a1 and a2 terminal okay so you can use this timer for both power supply 220 volt ac supply also 24 volt dc or ac power supply okay and for triggering you can use 24 volt dc also and 220 volt ac also in this timer we have two number point which is common point one number point is nc point and three number point is no point okay you can see here now first learn how to trigger timer with push button okay we have one push button we will trigger our timer with this push button okay so for control wiring first we need to connect a phase and neutral for 220 volt power supply in timer coil so first we connect a neutral in mcb and connect this neutral to a2 terminal okay neutral connects directly and for start timer normal for power supply for the start timer we connect one single with selector switch so we connect a phase first in this no element which is connected with selector switch so we connect phase wire in selector switch no terminal when selector is in on condition so supply will pass and supply comes in timer coil okay so for providing input power supply we connect one selector switch and as a load we connect one bulb okay so first we connect because our bulb is 220 volt ac supply so first we connect a phase wire in timer common point which is two number point 
and we will connect bulb phase wire in three number point which is no point okay so for load we connect a phase wire with timer no point and neutral connects directly okay first we use timer as a on delay timer so first we select this knob on on delay timer range okay for 10 second range is set okay now input power supply is on now when selector is on timer input power supply is come but timer not started okay so for starting this timer we need to trigger our timer okay so for trigger timer now first if you want to trigger your timer with push button so how to do connection let's learn so we have one push button in which we connect a no element so we connected two connector here you can see here in push button no element so first we connect this no element input terminal in timer coil a one point and when push button press so this power supply is come in trigger point okay now mcb on selector also on okay but timer not started okay for starting your timer first you need to press trigger push button okay when you press this push button your timer timing will start and after completing your timing your load will start okay see one more time when you trigger your timer with this push button when you press push button your timer timing will start and after completing your timing your load will be start now we see how to trigger timer with push button now if you want to trigger your timer with limit switch so how to trigger timer limit switch let's learn first you see in limit switch we have one no point and one nc point in this limit switch we have 13 and 14 number point which is no point so first we connected two connector in limit switch no point you can see here we connected two connector in limit switch no point 13 and 14 number point okay now learn how to trigger your timer with this limit switch first open connection of this push button okay so we open this connection of push button and connect this limit switch okay so first we connect a limit switch of one point in coil point and limit switch output connect in trigger point okay so when limit switch will operate so triggering supply comes in tr point okay we we'll start input power supply also start selector switch now coil supply is come in this timer when you trigger your limit switch when limit switch will operate timer timing will start and load will start according to timer timing okay first we we'll start input power supply but load not start for a starting load you need to operate limit switch when limit switch will operate so timer timing will start and your load will control according to your timer timing okay see one more time when limit switch will operate your timer timing will start and your load will control according to your timer timing okay now if you want to trigger your timer with this sensor okay so how to do control wiring to operate this trigger timer with sensor let's learn okay first we open this connection for this limit switch okay so for the starting sensor we need to provide supply of 24 volt dc power supply okay so first for 24 volt dc supply for sensor input power supply we will use this SMPS okay for 24 volt DC supply we connect a phase and neutral in this SMPS okay now output of this SMPS first we will we'll connect a phase connector in selector switch for the starting timer coil supply okay so for 24 volt DC supply we need to connect a 24 volt supply in A3 terminal one more time A3 terminal for 24 volt DC supply so we connect a selector switch output in timer A3 terminal and negative R0 volt will connect it directly in this timer A2 point okay so we connect one connector for 0 volt power supply in SMPS and connect this 0 volt supply in timer A2 point okay so 24 volt DC supply connects in this timer so in this sensor we have red wire for input power supply which is 24 volt dc so red wire is 24 volt dc input power supply blue wire for zero volt or negative voltage and black wire is output of this sensor okay when sensor will operate so input power supply comes in this black wire so black wire is output of this sensor so first we connect red wire in timer coil a3 point so red wire input power supply connects in a3 terminal 
now for zero volt supply you can connect zero volt supply from smps but we have already supply in a2 terminal of zero volt so we connect a zero volt supply in sensor with timer a2 point okay so for sensor input power supply we connect a red wire for a3 terminal and zero volt for timer a2 terminal okay now sensor output we will connect a sensor output black wire in trigger tr terminal okay when sensor will operate so input power supply comes in tr point so we connect a black wire in trigger tr point okay now connection is done let's learn how this timer start with this sensor okay so selector is on input power supply is on but timer is not starting okay when sensor will operate so timer timing will start and your load will start according to timer okay when sensor operates see one more time when sensor operates so timer operate and for timer your load will control according to your timer okay hope you clear the concept of your trigger timer and learn how to operate trigger timer with push button limit switch and sensor if you like this video please press like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching